Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to use PHP Mailer, PHP Mail System um, for your local host. We're going to make this quick and easy. Go to Google, type in PHP Mailer, and then go to the GitHub site, github.com PHP Mailer. Click on that. Two things you're going to need from this site, this download zip, this is the actual PHP Mailer uh, information that you need containing the files that you need and then down here further down the page you're going to need this example this example uh, will send an email um, and just validate that everything worked correctly so and it does a good job of explaining what's going on here so we're going to start by copying this don't copy the PHP the, the opening piece here just start from the require and then go down because they forgot to put they forgot to close this, so so copy that to your clipboard, and then download this download zip. So download that. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. It's called PHP Master Zip. That's kind of a weird name. I would rename it if I were you. I did myself. So save it. I'm going to hit cancel though. And then once you save it, copy it into your www directory. I've done that already, and I renamed it to from PHP Mailer Master to PHP Mailer. Oops. Okay. So that's there. And then in here is the actual file that we're going to use. PHP Mailer Auto Load. So we're going to start with that. So PHP Mailer Auto Load actually in the PHP Mailer folder. So we have to make sure we have the path right. And you can see down here that in the example they just have the file name and they don't give you the actual path. They don't put the, um, the, the folder if you copy it with that folder there. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. Remember we didn't copy the opening and ending part of PHP. So do that now, just like that. All right, and then paste in all that information that you got from your clipboard, um, and then we're going to change this here. The path was PHP Mailer for me forward slash, and then that, that file. I'll show you again. Go to your www directory for me. The file, the the folder is PHP Mailer, so I had to add that here, and then in here is that auto load PHP the file that you need. There it is. Okay. So we're done with that. Now, let's start to change some information here. Um, go back to Google and type in whatever you use for an email system. Maybe it's Gmail, maybe it's Yahoo, I use Comcast. I'm going to put in Comcast SMTP. We need some SMTP configuration information. Okay, Comcast uses, for their default port, it's 587, and their SMTP server name is smtp.comcast.net. You're going to need that. Maybe yours is smtp.gmail.net or yahoo.net or whatever it is. So, back to my file. Right here it says specify main and backup SMTP servers. I'm going to change that to smtp.comcast. Net. And then the port. The port was 587 for me, so I don't have to change anything here, but you would change that to your port, to the correct port number. Now, here you're going to change this, this to your actual username and password for the for your Gmail account or Yahoo account, maybe your mic at Gmail. Um, and then your password. Don't forget to use uppercase. Um, if you have uppercases, uppercase letters in your password. So that's done. And then right here where it says add a recipient, um, make this yourself so you can test that this works. So again, I would do for me, mike at gmail.com. Um, please don't actually email mike at gmail.com um, to somebody else, like yourself. So yeah, you most likely want to make the recipient yourself so that you can test or whatever you're doing, you're testing your, your system. Um, and then 
the rest of this information we're going to leave alone. All of this will make sense once you actually get an email from yourself and then you can go back in here and change all these values. Okay, so then down here is where the actual mail function is used and then it echoes out this if you don't do it correctly else it echoes the message has been sent. Now of course in this example I didn't actually save this PHP file with my actual information. This isn't this isn't correct. So here I made mailer.php where I have my actual email information and my password information. So this should all be set up. <coughs> this should all be ready to go. So I'm going to load this mailer.php instead. HTTP Oops. localhost PHP Oops. Yeah. Okay. Mailer.php Okay, so that's my file. We'll hit enter. And you can see that I got message has been sent, which again is this here echo message has been sent, which means that I have successfully sent the email. Again, I didn't pa <coughs> excuse me pass any information from one site to another, um, or from one page to another, excuse me. Um, so there's no form to fill out. Just loading this page actually sends the email. And now what you'd want to do at this point is go check your actual email, go into your email account and see that you've actually received this email. That's it. Hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment.